to organize everything um, since it's all been sitting in boxes and little envelopes since the uh, move uh, to California. As I know before we start, I've been really self-conscious about my hair lately. Um, I feel like today it's really gross. It just doesn't look great. Um, but also, every day it's just been a little harder to style it since I got to Cali. I'm pretty sure that's because there's barely any humidity or, or heat as compared to Miami. So, yes, I just thought I'd get that out of the way so I wouldn't feel so weird about it. <laughs> but let's get started. I'm going to be doing a lot of tapping, 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 as well as swatching.
I need to 
use this more, it would be really fun to just do a whole video dedicated to this and maybe those little um, eye mask, lip mask things. So here they are. They look honestly better when you just keep it on your finger because if you try to spread it out, you have to build these shadows up. But they're so cute. Cute. So that's another eyeshadow. Oh. 
categories, hey? Um, I want to put them together by theme, so like colorful, vibrant makeup, put it all together. Um, and then more natural, say, colors, put them together. But I don't know yet what I'm going to do. So, here's a Florence by Mills lip oil. Lip oil. I have not been using this because I find lip oils do not be as hydrating as my lips need. It's almost like the milk makeup stick where initially you get some hydration, but long term I feel like it just dries out my skin and my lips. So I have uh, these 
really gave it your all. But you can see that it can be blinding. <laughs>
be able to go through this whole thing unless I was using it as a body exfoliant <laughs> or something and this is a Stila um, Little White Lies Liquid Eyeshadow Ombre um, I thought it would be a lot prettier than it unfortunately is um, because it's got a white base you can't really see the violet all that well, especially when you're uh, turned to the side, you can kind of just see white chalkiness, but I'm going to swatch it anyway, right between these two. So, like you can see, there's that white streakiness to it, which unfortunately overpowers the beautiful pinky purple that it actually has underneath. Um, it's still very pretty, but it does look kind of patchy and you can not very well tell on camera that's a little better you can kind of see the pink shift in it okay so and this was my first ever Stila product so I was pretty excited too um, I'd still use it just probably for more theatrical looks and
sure if I used the right liner, I could manage to pull it off. so 
Oh, my dear. Hello.